Are you ready for UFC 307 this weekend? Are you sure you're ready? Because it's going down in Salt Lake City this weekend and you can get in on all the action with my partners at DraftKings Sportsbook right now. All new customers who bet $5 can get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app, sign up using my promo code SUNNY. DraftKings, the crown is yours. That's $200 in bonus bets instantly after betting just $5. You can use your $200 in bonus bets to stay in on all the action. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry. You can still join in on all the fun at DraftKings Daily Fantasy for a shot at winning cash prizes. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers, use my promo code SUNNIN. Bet just $5 and get $200 in bonus bets instantly right now. That's promo code SUNNIN only at DraftKings Sportsbook. I know I'm just taking a left turn here, but it just hit my mind. It is weird every time when Bruce Buffer comes up behind the referee and sticks his arm under with the microphone. Can we admit that's strange? Yes. <laughs> can we just talk? Yes, I mean, we like, can. how did that start? Like, he can't hold a mic. He's got to touch both fighters. At one point, Bruce was just like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. Yeah. It's going to stick my arm underneath your arm and hold the mic. And they were like, that sounds weird, Bruce. No, it's fine. We'll do it. Well, I wonder that too. And was that in rehearsal? Like, was that, or was that on the fly? And Bruce came up, you know, behind it and the guy, <laughs> and the guy rose. Cause in boxing, they used to lower it. If you'll recall, they would lower the mic and then the guy would kind of lean in and speak and they raised the mic. So yeah, when Bruce came under him, Hey, Bruce is so much fun. There is nobody that is more comfortable in their skin. He would get in there and start warming up and doing things like this. Yes. The crowd used to tease him on jumping around and doing a 180, which he like tore his knee on doing one time. When they were teasing him and making memes, he acted like he didn't know he was being teased and that they were being sincere, which to this day, I don't know if he doesn't know he's being teased or this was his way of countering. All I know is he now brags about it. He calls it the 180. It's his move. He hits it every time. Oh, I love the 180. It's great. You can never let him see a sweat and Bruce never does, man. That is a consummate professional. Yeah, I play poker, okay? I'm a big poker player and Bruce is a huge poker player and I see him a lot at my tables. And we talk and there's nobody that loves being Bruce Buffer more than Bruce Buffer. Like, I mean, he is that guy all day. He'll say things at the poker table like, and he took it down on the river. You know, like he's doing his voice. He's all too happy. If somebody comes up, like, you know, we know celebrities. Look, what, the, the Undertaker, when he saw little baby Chael Sonnen, right? And he wanted to talk to him. And the Undertaker was like, not now, kid. I'm in my method moment. I'm in my bad guy moment. Bruce Buffer, you could go up and say, hey, we're having a party tonight. Could you just do your Bruce Buffer voice for my buddy's birthday? And he'll do it like on a, someone's iPhone. He is absolutely Bruce Buffer 100% of the time. And when he jumps, you know, it's time. And he jumps off the ground. Like UFC 150, he was like this. UFC 306, he's down here now, but he's getting some air, but you know, he's getting older, right? So the jump's getting lower. The thing, the turn is getting a little slower. But if you ask Bruce, he's in his prime and Bruce was the king of the drive-bys, meaning like we would go to the fights and we'd be in the front and I was lucky enough to sit there because a buddy of mine and uh, Bruce would just come by and he would do a drive-by. This is Bruce. He'd come by and he'd say, uh, hey, what's up guys? By the way, just got this new uh, bracelet here. It's a, uh, a chunky gold bracelet. I, what I like about it, it's not too gaudy. Literally the gaudiest thing you've ever seen. Chael, literally you could not get gaudier if you tried. Okay. And he'd come by and he would go, you know, I like it. It's not too gaudy. And, uh, you know, I got it at Jacob, the jewelers. And then he's gone. And then he's gone. There's no more conversation. He came to tell you how awesome he is. All right. He stopped by to let you know how awesome his bracelet is and how awesome he is. Good night, fellas. I'll see you the next time I have something to brag about. Right. But he does it. And he's such a, he's such an endearing character. You've worked with him a lot, right? You've worked with him. Did you work with him on the movie at all? Did you work with yeah. him on boom? Cause he was yeah, in there. Yeah. Yeah. Fun, fun, fun He's guy. Fun. Of all the things he does, and you'd be surprised how many businesses Bruce Buffer has his hand in, but uh, he does the suits, you know, those, those ridiculous suits he wears. Those are his suits and you can go out and buy them. And I just got to tell you, I don't think he's ever sold one. I've never seen anybody buying it. I can't imagine <laughs> anyone's buying it. And then he's always wearing a different one himself. It's like he doesn't wear the same thing twice, but they're the sharpest damn suits. Like it's a real business with a real tailor somewhere but I do not think people are out there buying the Bruce Buffer jacket. They're just too, to your point, they're just too gaudy. Only one guy can do it, and that's the guy holding the microphone. It's like Elvis wasn't selling, right, the blue jumpsuit. One guy's wearing it, and his name is Elvis. Absolutely. And he wears it well, right? 
Elvis wore it well. I would look ridiculous if I put it on, right? We wouldn't look good in it. And Bruce Buffer, if I ever wore that jacket, I would look stupid. But if Bruce Buffer doesn't wear that jacket, if Bruce Buffer shows up in a solid blue suit, who's that guy? You know, he has built, he has built a brand and he has built it in the shadow. A lot of people don't know this. Michael Buffer was the big buffer. I remember when UFC came out and Bruce Buffer, I'm like, oh boy, this is like, you know, step down, step down. No, 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 no. You know, let's get ready to rumble is a thing. I mean, it's still there, but it's a thing of the past. Bruce Buffer, you know, he's the guy. So good on him. He's, he's got a, talk about a self-belief. If Bruce was a fighter, he would be the equivalent of uh, Sean O'Malley right now going, I beat Marab. You know what I mean? Like he can't lose. There is no losing. He doesn't have that. He's just a really, he just loves, like I said, he loves being Bruce Buffer. I've seen him lose pots in poker, making the wrong decision. And he's like, yeah, no, I had him. I had him. And I'm like, what? He had you the whole way. But Bruce's like, yeah, no, I, like when I beat you in that other pot and the guy's like, I beat you. And I just love watching him. He's fantastic. Oh, he's great. He got in a, he got in a fight with a UFC fighter. I think it uh, was Frank Trigg, but it got a fight with a UFC fighter. And Bruce won, according to all the guys who were there. Now, it was a half a second fight, but either way, Bruce is the one that went. I mean, th those are the rules of the street fights, right? You might not like the rules, but he touches you and you don't touch him. I asked Bruce about it because Frank Trigg's a, a straight up rough guy. Yes, yes. Bruce, what happened there? And Bruce said, well, you know, Frankie just kept poking at me and there was people around. And of course, that gets me under my ego like anybody. And Shale, I, I couldn't control it. My, all of a sudden, my street just came out. My street side just came out. Like, my what street? street? You live on Malibu. You're, you're a block from the right. beach. You surf every morning at 8 a.m. What street <laughs> side? I don't have to know what street side. Just like you don't need to, to explain <laughs> that the watch isn't gaudy, right? Yes. It was awesome. I'm grateful that I had that moment with Bruce. And I'm grateful that he believes he has a street side. 